Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can edit a video in iMovie. This is hands down one of the best editing softwares I found. And the best part is it already comes preloaded on Macs and costs nothing to use. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a clear understanding of how to upload your first video to iMovie, edit it, and when you're done, download it with the settings for the best resolution. Make sure you stick around for the whole video though, because throughout this video, I'll be adding in some cool tips and tricks that you're not gonna want to miss. Now, without waiting any longer, let's get into the video. All right, guys, now they're on my computer. If you haven't used iMovie before or you don't use it often, if you look at the bottom here, you probably won't see it down here in your little dock. So the easiest way to find iMovie and to save it to your dock first is go to your launch pad over here and then you'll see iMovie in here. If it's not on the first one, just scroll over. So all you're gonna do from there is click it and drag it right down to your dock to save it down in there. Perfect, now that we have it in our dock, we're gonna open up iMovie. And what you're gonna to wanna to do off on the left-hand side is go to Create New. And then you got two options, Movies and Trailers. Movies is where you're gonna be making all your videos. Trailers is exactly what it sounds, is just to make trailers. So we're gonna be going into Movie. And then to import your movie into iMovie, you're gonna click into, right in the center here, Import Media. And then you're gonna find your video in there that you wanna bring into iMovie. And I will meet you over there because I have a video already that I'm gonna use for this. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you guys is how to get rid of a lot of the dead space. So as you can see, over here, there's nothing at the bottom. I'll show you a little bit more when I start talking, how it changes, like this over here. But all this was just me getting ready to start the video. So we got two options. You can either drag it over all the way to where it starts, or, so first you wanna make sure your little pointer is where you wanna split the clip. So we're gonna drop it there. See it right there as I move away. And now, since that's staying there, we're gonna right click on it and then click split clip. And as you can see, now there's two different clips. And we could actually, if you wanted to drag this clip somewhere else, you can do that and drop it in. Or from here, we could just hit delete. And there we go. Now we got it closer to the beginning of the video. But as you can tell, there's still a little bit of a delay. So we're gonna click on it again to highlight it and drag it over a little bit. Perfect. So there's another dead spot over here. What we can do is split clip again and clean that up a little bit more. Now see how that is? So that's how you do split clips and clean up a lot of the dead space. Another thing is the volume. So if it sounds a little too high or too low and you want to adjust the volume, the volume is going to be this little line down here where all the volume is. So you're going to click on that and you can lift it up. There we go. As you can see, there's a little bit of yellow in there and that's when it's kind of peaking. So yellow is fine, but when it starts turning to red, you want to back it down a little bit. So let's hear it now. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. See, now you can hear the difference. So let's bring it down just a little bit. I like to have mine a little bit higher where it shows just a little bit of yellow in some spots and other spots it shows none. So let's see. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So perfect. Now, all these clips were shot pretty much in the same position and we want the volume all to be the same for these. So we're gonna highlight this one, then we're gonna click on it, right click on it. We're gonna hit copy. And we're gonna click on the next one. Cool, so we got all that highlighted. To copy the same volume, say we found the perfect volume, to copy this volume and bring it over to here too. We're gonna go to edit, paste adjustments, and volume. There you go, so you can see it lifted up. So let's check it out. Perfect, so now we just go through the video. Here's another low spot. So we'll split clip, drag it over a little more. There we go. So we got another dead spot. So let's bring our cursor over to here. Now we'll right click, we'll hit split clip, and then we'll just drag it over. Perfect. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is color grade. And for that, we're gonna go up top, and here's our color grade right here. So we'll start messing with these till we find the way that we like it. 
dim it down just a hair. So we like that. All these were shot in the same position. So what we'll do again is the same thing. We're gonna copy and then we'll click on this one. So here's a little secret for you guys. So since we want all this to be color graded like this one right here that we just did, click on the first one and then hold shift and then click on the last one. And now it's all highlighted. And then we're gonna go back to edit, paste adjustments and color correction. Perfect. And if we, and then come to find out if you don't like all the adjustments that you made, you made too many or whatever, all we're gonna do is hit reset and it brings it right back. This one, reset, same thing. So let's reset them all back. Perfect. Now the next thing I wanna show you guys is when you see a lot of people when they start their videos or throughout their videos, they'll do all the cropping, the zooming in and everything. So that's gonna be the next thing I'm gonna show you guys. Let's go through this one again. So there's no zoom or anything. So we're gonna go up here to the cropping and then we'll do crop to fit. We'll keep that one the way it is. So we'll do the crop to fit on this one. Here, let's split it. Here, we'll say we'll put a split in here and then we'll do the crop to fit. Which that might be a little too much. Let's bring it out just a little bit. All right, let's see how it looks. There you go. And that's how people do the cropping. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is transitions. And to get to that, it's gonna be up top here. You're gonna click on transitions. Here, we'll do this one. We'll throw the cube in, then I can show you what the transition looks like. There you go. You'd probably have to stretch this out a little bit more. There you go. And that's how you do a transition. And, del and to delete it, all you're gonna do is highlight it and hit delete. All right guys, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is how to add text to your video. So what we're gonna do is up top, we're gonna to click on titles and then we'll say we wanna do this one where we add our name into the bottom. So we'll click on that and drag it all the way down and it's gonna sit right on top. So if we click on this and then click up here, we can put in what we want it to say. So I'll just put my name in there and let's check it out. Perfect, but we don't like the white. The white kinda doesn't stand out too much. So if we highlight it again, go to the text up here, we could actually change the font format. We could change the sizing right here. So let's say, yeah, let's go to 80, perfect. And then we'll change the color. Let's give it a blue, perfect. Let's check this out. Perfect. And then if we wanna shorten it up, we'll just drag this back a little. And up top, now we'll say we just wanted it for three seconds long. There we go, perfect. So another cool thing that iMovie already has is his own audio, so you can add sound effects, music, and all that. And if you go up to here, and then let's go to, we'll say sound effects. We have many to choose from. If you don't find what you like in here through these, you could also go into YouTube Studio. All right, so now that we're in YouTube, to get the music, all we're gonna do is click on our profile picture, go to YouTube Studio, and then go to the audio library. And we got sound effects, we got music and all that. And all you do is, you like we'll go through them. So say we found one that we like, all we would do is go to download here. And then once we download it, we could add it right into YouTube. And yeah, that's how you add music, sound effects, and all that into iMovie. Another cool feature is, say we got a little clip here and we're showing how to use iMovie and we kind of want to speed, speed it up a little bit. So here, so say we want to speed up this part right here. So we'll split clip and we'll split clip. Then we'll go to the little speed icon here and then let's go to fast. Now let's take a look at it. There we go. And that's how you speed things up, slow things down. You can freeze the frame and all that. And another cool thing you could do, especially if you're making a YouTube video, at the end, here's a simple little thing you can do is, here, so we'd wanna clean this up a little bit. And then we're gonna go to backgrounds and then the black, we'll bring that one down. We'll drag that out to like, we'll say five seconds. Perfect. So we'll leave this right at the end. And then once we have this on the end, so once we added this to the end, now we have our end screen. And once we're uploading the video into YouTube, the end screen part that comes on, we could just drag our profile icon and the videos or playlist that we wanna add here. So that's a pretty cool little feature right there. Yeah, and that's it. That's 
how you edit with iMovie. That's some of the basic stuff with iMovie. Very simple to use. There's, there's many different video editing softwares out there, but highly recommend iMovie. If you're able to, especially if you're doing YouTube, I would hire a video editor. Definitely free up a lot of your time. Video editing is one of those things where it does take a lot of time. So if you have the time for it, that's great. But if you're looking to save a little bit of time, if you are doing YouTube, I would highly recommend hiring somebody just to free up your time. But that's it, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.